Hello there. In this question we're shown two circles S and C which touch internally at B as shown. S is the big circle and C is the small circle. The equation of the big circle S is x minus 1 to be squared plus y plus 6 to be squared is equal to 360. Write down the coordinates of the centre of S. Well this equation is in this format x minus h to be squared plus y minus k to be squared is equal to r squared uh, and that's on page 19 of your tables and in that case uh, h and k is the centre so uh, we have that 1 and minus 6 uh, must be the centre of circle S. Write down the radius of S in the form a root 10 okay so we need to get the square root of 360 uh, which would be uh, square root of 36 times the square root of 10 and that would be 6 root 10. Now the point K is the center of circle C. The radius of C is one-third the radius of S. Okay so let's join up B and the center of S. We can actually write in the center of S. It's the point 1 comma minus 6 and we know that there's a ratio then if KB is one-third of mm, let's call this capital A if KB is one-third of AB then the ratio is 1 is to 2 is these lengths here uh, and we're asked we're, okay we're told the coordinates of B the coordinates of B are 7 12 and we're asked to find the coordinates of K so what we want is a point dividing a line in a given ratio formula and that is on page 18 of your tables and I'll just write out the formula for you here okay so we're going to say that 2 is A 1 is B um, and then A is the one which is closest to X1, Y1 and B is the one which is closest to X2, Y2 so now we sub all of that into our formula and we get b times x1 so that's 1 times 1 plus 2 times 7 all over 1 plus 2 which is 3 uh, and the y coordinate then is 1 times minus 6 plus 2 times 12 all over 3 and that should give us 1 plus 14 over 3 so that's 15 over 3 and then we get uh, 24 take away 6 which is 18 over 3 so we have 5 comma 6 is the coordinates of K okay so we now have the coordinates K and finally we can now uh, find, form the equation of C what do we know about the equation of C? Well, we know it has center 5 and k, but we also know that its radius is one-third of the radius of S, and the radius of S is down here as um, 6 root 10, so radius is 6 root 10, uh, therefore the radius of C is one-third of that, which is 2 root 10. So now we can write the equation in the same format as we did before. So that would be x minus 5 all squared plus y minus 6 all squared is equal to our radius squared which would be 4 times 10 uh, which is 40. So we have x minus 5 all squared plus y minus 6 all squared equal to 40 and that is the equation of C. Now finally, we're told, find the equation of the common tangent at B. Give your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equal to zero. Okay, so what we have, remember, is two circles which meet internally at the point 7, 12. So the common tangent will be a tangent which is a line going through that point 
that's going to be the point of tangency. Uh, it'll be a tangent to both circles and it'll also be perpendicular to the line from either of the two centers, K or what I called A, uh, to that tangent. So let's find the slope of the line, we could AB, we can find that easily and uh, and then we will get the slope of the tangent. So let's call this AB and what's the coordinates of A again? It is 1 and minus 6. So using the slope formula we have M is y2 minus y1 so that's 12 minus minus 6 over x2 minus x1 so that's 7 minus 1 that gives me 12 plus 6 is 18 over 6, so that's 3. So that means the slope of the tangent is minus 1 over 3 because it must be perpendicular to the line from the point of tangency containing the center. And we have a point on it, so the formula for the equation of a line where you know a point and a slope is y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1 and that is on page 18 of your tables and all I need to do is substitute in here now uh, the point 7 and 12 so I have y minus 12 is equal to m which is minus 1 over 3 times x minus 7 and the easiest way to tidy that up is to multiply across by 3 so you have 3y minus 36 is equal to minus x minus 7 which is minus x plus 7 so that's 3y minus 36 and I just have to add my constants so let's bring everything to one side and I get x plus 3y minus 36 minus 7 is minus 43 equal to 0. Now there are other ways of finding a common tangent but in this question I think this was the easiest way one other way is to write out the equation of both circles uh, the long way and then subtract one from the other. Uh, the x squareds and y squareds cancel and you're left with the equation of a line which is the equation of a common tangent. But uh, I think in this question this was the easiest way to do it. So that's all for this video. Bye for now.